So let's take a look at um, soft modifications or how you use a fall off. Um, so what does that mean? So let's just set up a scene first of all. So um, go to settings, put make sure mirror is on and surface contours because I like to see the the wireframe on the top. Um, so if it's mirrored, that means we will do both sides. We'll go to primitives. And then you can do, um, I've got another lesson that will go through all of these two hands, um, central line and, and one hand, but essentially what we want is a cube and make sure it's subdivided like this. So let's just make it nice and small so we can see what we're doing. So with your non-dominant hand, I'm left-handed, bear, bear in mind, uh, make sure it is a sub-D object. And if you press the blue button on your non-dominant hand, you're gonna see all of your control points like so. And that means we can bring that across the center line like so, and it will snap. Make sure all of them are snapped. And we're going to do a head because uh, if you're doing character work, a head is probably a good one to start with. So I'm only going to talk about how we how we manipulate it with the um, um, with with a fall off. So let's put some splits in it. So hold your uh, point basically over the wherever you want to split line and hit fire on your dominant hand. Let's just round that a little bit. And the problem we're, we're trying to alleviate today is the fact that, as, as you see me modeling now, um, I'm just pulling it point by point, or wherever this, basically wherever the, the area of effect goes over, I can pull that, but there's no fall off to these other ones. So that's what we're gonna work out in a moment. So we'll, we'll get the basis of a, of a head, and we'll put a neck in just for our own benefit. So I'll get roughly the shape that I want for the neck point by point, flick with the thumbstick on your dominant hand until you get the face mode like so, and then we'll pull out a neck. And that'll do, let's put some more splits in. Again, the trick with subdivision modeling always is not just to run random splits everywhere, that's one of the biggest no-nos, um, because the polygon count just gets high for no reason there. So at this early stage, it doesn't make a difference, but we're gonna, f we're gonna talk about that in a moment. And as we get to a point where the polygon count is becoming problematic, then that's when we would probably start looking at, 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 at what we do instead of this, really. So um, don't go too close to that center line, and I'll explain why in a minute. Keep, keep well away from that center line. That's probably enough for us to play with now. Um, like so it's too many here, but you'll see what I'm, I'm going to do with it in a minute. So if we want to, oh, I'm just checking them in the right position on the camera. So I want to now start smoothing this down. So I could just push forward with a thumbstick to give me the size of influence and just pull down. And that gives you a Titan. So that's going to give me that smooth um, or, or ability to smooth across the model. And that's quite useful, but it would be better if we had some kind of an area of effect on that as well. So this is the, the tricky bit that, that, that people don't always see. Let's just tighten all that down first. Tighten this bottom down. Just get some kind of a chest going. Um, we need more there. Can't stop noodling already. It's a it's um, a failing in the in the in an artist really it's just once you start you, you know i'm supposed to be just teaching one particular thing and i'm starting to noodle i can't leave it uh, which i bet all of you do so we've got a head we've got a neck and we've got the basis of a bust so with your hand off the model make sure if you do it like this it's not going to work so off hold the grip and then you can push up and down with your thumbstick and that gives you an inner area of a, an, an inner sphere really and what that is is that's going to control your area of influence or soft or soft modification or in silo I used to map this to um, the middle mouse wheel and that would give me a fall off so anyone who's used to that kind of um, program would, would know why I would do it um, so let's just try it with different settings so uh, let's go all the way out and you can see that if I have the outer ball let's go halfway and the inner ball you've now got from the outer to the inner you've got an area of influence so you combine that with the tool that we showed before so ho hover it here and pull down on the thumbstick and you've got an ability to pull and smooth on the fly 
And that's pretty much how I work for all of the character modeling in, in Gravity Sketch. Because if you're working down here and you want to just pull it out, but you want to keep smoothing it, instead of just calling a separate smooth command like you do in some 3D programs, uh, what I'm doing is I'm pulling it to where I want and then smoothing. So it's much more like a shift in ZBrush where you're smoothing the area that, that you're painting on. And it just makes everything come into, into line um, in, in the right way. Remember, you can go all the way up and you'll have one type of effect and you go all the way down and you have this other type of effect. So it can give you quite an elastic looking effect really as, as you're beginning to, to sculpt and model. Now, what I always do as well is I would normally switch subdivision on as well. And bear in mind, I've got, um, and when we started this, we put the, the control lines on. So you're seeing my wireframe uh, deliberately. So, so I could show you how to do this. But again, it's just getting used to the fact that you're doing it off the model, grip and up and down. So just take your time learning that. And one, trust me, once you've, once you've got your head around that, it just makes this, you know, you, you can, you, you'll, you'll find that it speeds up your organic model into, you know, to some great degree. You can still do all of the other things that, you know, I'm still adding, adding loops. Um, the next thing you really want to gonna get your head around uh, would be um, how to cut and shape your uh, topology. Cause obviously this topology isn't good around the chin. Uh, it's great round here, but this needs to be turned and cut. And I'll do that in another, in another video. Um, but that's, you know, if you embed this one as a, you know, a next, um, you saw there exactly what I was saying at the start. So the tolerance snap in here, um, watch, you don't get much to play with. And you're gonna go over that line and snap. And you, you know, obviously that's gonna cause you problems if you're, if you're not aware of it. And you can sometimes come to it later on and you find that you've been working around here, done a smooth, and, it, and it's gone too tight to that edge and it causes you a problem. But that, that, that's gonna give you um, a lot of organic um, flexibility if, if, if you learn that that process um, don't forget as well with your inner grip you've got your you know this there's, there's um, these tools here so hold your inner grip and just pull around your body and you get tool belt and there's all sorts of things in there we can talk about at a later stage and throw it back with the same command um, well look there's a good example straight away of what I was just saying so I didn't notice before um, but it but it uh, it snapped across that seam. So I'm going to carry on modelling. Uh, have a great day, um, and I'll I'll try and clarify a bit more as as the week goes on.